Hi, welcome to another episode of Girls, Girls, Girls. And today I'm being joined by... Vivian Poi. Who is the first Asian appointed to the Senate of Canada. So we can move on to the question. Um, if you were a bird, what would you be and why? I would like to be a bird of paradise, but I would have to be a male. Mm. Because they are very exotic. They live very high up on the very, very tall trees so that people can't get at them. <laughs> and they are really elegant and beautiful and and very rare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like birds. So, um, first question: What is the best and worst part about being a girl, in your opinion? I like being a girl because I think, again, we can be very different and exotic. Mm -hmm. We can look beautiful if we want to, but we don't need to be, mm -hmm. and. We can dress up, whereas men cannot, not to the extent that women can. Now, um, women are also more capable in doing a lot of things, such as um, multitasking, yes. and somehow men can't do that. And I really believe that um, because maybe because we have to do so many things and we have to juggle so we can actually survive a lot better mm -hmm. in life in general uh, uh, than men and but then uh, in my own case I don't really have any uh, downside of being a girl uh, but generally I think it's in many cultures being women, you are used or viewed as commodities. Mm -hmm. And uh, but in my case, that was never the case. That's fantastic. In my family, yeah, yeah. it's very lucky. Yeah, yeah. So, who or what inspires you? The person who motivated me the most and inspired me the most was my dad, mm. because he was an extraordinary man. Yeah. And so it has nothing to do with gender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> so uh, what is your definition of success and do you think you've achieved it? My definition of success is having done something that you've always wanted to do in your life. And you can't really define that until you're at the end of your life and then you can look back and say, yes, I'm satisfied, I've done this and that, yeah. and it, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be something that other people recognize. Um, it could be just raising a family, having, having a happy family, having good relationship, not with, only with family members, but with friends and mm -hmm other people. Yeah. I think that is very important. Mm -hmm. Just having the skill or the personality of getting along with people and being a happy person. Yeah. I think that is extremely important. Um, but everything else, yes, it's, it's nice to have been able to do other things. Um, in my case, you know, I've r written a lot of books. Mm -hmm. I have designed a lot of knitwear. Yes. I have done uh, many, many different things, but um, just feeling that you have achieved what you want to achieve mm -hmm. is the most important. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I think the, the most important thing is in life is you make yourself happy and you make your loved ones happy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what is your biggest regret? I don't really have a lot of regrets in my life. I feel that I've been able to do more than perhaps a lot of other women because I had my children early. Mm -hmm. So I was a stay-at-home mom mm -hmm. for a number of years and then I started going back to school and then I was able to achieve outside of the home. Uh, so I really feel that I've got the you know both sides yes. um, of the of the life of a 
a woman who would like some women like to only have success outside the home and some only stay at home yes. and they are successful as mothers and wives however I think I have managed to do both yes. which was nice mm -hmm. now one little little thing one little regret <laughs> is that um, when I got married in English mm -hmm. Uh, because I got married in Canada, mm -hmm. it, um, according to English custom, a woman um, uh, leave her her own surname and adopt the husband's name. Oh. That is my regret. I should have kept my own. Oh. But that's in English. Now in Chinese, Chinese women never lose our yes. names. So, yeah. of course, in Chinese, I kept my own surname. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, in in English. Uh, and the same thing I told my granddaughters, always keep your own name because that's your identity. Yes. And so uh, the other thing is then in the future, whatever you achieve, once you're married, you are just somebody's wife. And mm -hmm. a lot of people just think of you as somebody's wife. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you've done in your life. Yeah. And that <laughs> happens to me a lot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you've done so many things. So yes. And, and yet, you know, uh, People don't, or they might just forget, and mm -hmm. or they don't even want to recognize it. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, I think sometimes it's because they are insecure mm -hmm. when that happens, mm -hmm. because they feel that well, why should you have these titles? And I don't know. It's it's a very strange thing. Yes. And and when people do that, sometimes I get upset, but mm -hmm. most of the time I feel sorry for them. What is your proudest achievement? And I know you've had so many. So this is like very hard to think of. But I think okay, my my one proudest mm -hmm. is that I have a wonderful family. Mm -hmm. uh, despite everything else that I've done outside of my home, I I have good relationship with my husband and we've been married very soon, 56 oh. years. Wow. Yeah. Holy That's a very long time. That is a long time. Yeah. yeah. And I have wonderful children and grandchildren and in that way I I'm I feel that I have succeeded mm -hmm. in my life and also I have some very good friends, very loyal friends and that is very important. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So what is your advice to, I guess, younger girls out there searching for careers or just figuring out what they want to do in life? I think what is the most important mm -hmm. for young women is to, is to think what you want to do with your life. Mm -hmm. You can, what you see, this day and age was very different from my time. Mm -hmm. I was married a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. and. Today, I think women must be independent, both career-wise and emotionally, as well as financially. Yes. Independence is extremely important because yes. you have to rely on yourself sooner or later, and it is best to be independent so you are not compromising mm -hmm. anything in your life. Yeah, I think so. Thank you so much for meeting with me. That's oh, all. Oh, you're very, Thank very you. welcome. So nice I hope that you. helped. Yeah, it